Hello, welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment. We're going to talk this morning with Dr. Raymond Douglas and Wendy. Wendy is um, a patient who's dealing with TED or thyroid eye disease. And Dr. Douglas is an expert in TED and uh, other eye uh, issues. And they're joining us on the program to talk about TED or thyroid eye disease and the latest treatment for the condition. Welcome to the program, both uh, Dr. Raymond Douglas and Wendy. How are you both? And uh, thank you both for taking the time this morning. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad to be here. Uh, Dr. Douglas, give our listeners a bit of background, uh, if you would, about yourself. Oh, thank you. Uh, so I am an, what's called an oculoplastic and orbital surgeon. So I deal with all the disorders around the eye. Uh, typically, that can even result in aging or cancers. But in this case, it's thyroid eye disease, which causes bulging of the eyes. And uh, I typically operate on this condition and I'm a surgeon for, you know, to do those types of things. And Wendy, a bit about yourself. Hi, I'm a wife and a mom of four boys. Mm -hmm. I work full-time as a paralegal, and I like to volunteer with anything my kids are involved with. Mm -hmm. And I was diagnosed in January of 2018 with thyroid eye disease. Now, just to be clear, you're, uh, we're talking about hypothyroidism. Is that what we're talking about? Is this something um, similar but uh, not the same? Well, Graves' disease is typically hyperthyroidism uh, in about 80 to 90 percent of cases, and that's where antibodies attack the receptor and push it into overdrive on the thyroid, and this causes an overabundance of thyroid hormone. It can also happen in hypothyroid, or patients can have a very hard time controlling their thyroid function and even oscillating in between being too hyper or too hypo, meaning too much thyroid hormone or too little. Mm -hmm. So, Wendy, what um, what were your symptoms? When did you start uh, noticing some uh, some problems? I started noticing problems about four months before I received an official diagnosis. Mm -hmm. And initially, I noticed problems at work. I would sit at a computer screen all day, and by the end of the day, my eyes were just having trouble focusing on the screen or holding focus on a person if they came to to talk to me, mm -hmm. and. I began then having some problems when I was driving. I would have difficulty with the lights of oncoming cars and just different vision things that I thought I attributed initially to eye strain mm -hmm. until about four months later when it became clear that it was something more than eye strain. Were you diagnosed uh, properly initially or was there a, a hit and miss uh, to find out what was causing your symptoms? There was a little bit of confusion going back and forth at first because mm -hmm. I had never had any eye problems before, so I didn't even know where to go when I started having eye problems. But I went to an ophthalmologist who thought maybe I needed some prisms in my glasses, and, and we tried that for quite a while before mm -hmm. um, she referred me on to a neurologist, and it was the neurologist that ran the CT scan and, and blood work and determined that I had Graves' disease. Are those uh, are those typical symptoms, Doctor Douglas? Uh, the symptoms that Wendy is talking about? Yes, they they really are. Uh, most people feel kind of a combination of a thyroid problem or just not feeling right. You know, either uh, feeling very hyper, not being able to sleep, or just being run down. And then they start to have these eye symptoms that are a little hard to discern, often just blurry vision, sometimes even double vision, looking a little different in the mirror, someone asking them if they've had enough sleep. So it can be kind of subtle but varied amongst patients. Now, there's a recent approval uh, for a treatment for TED. Uh, what, uh, what can you tell us about this, uh, this approval, this treatment? Uh, so I, I can jump in first, but the drug is an antibody that binds to the receptor that the immune system attacks. Uh, 
And what we're really excited about this treatment is that it's given uh, via an intravenous and it seems to reverse the disease. Mm -hmm. And Wendy had this treatment and she can, you know, talk more about it. But the science behind it is, is really kind of like a surgical strike where it goes right at the heart of why the immune system attacks this receptor and without impairing the immune system really reverses the all the eye symptoms that patients have been experiencing and that's really been a first for this field now wendy let's talk about uh how it affected your your symptoms from from a patient standpoint well, TED impacted my ability to do all the everyday things we take for granted. It, it affected my ability to, to work, to watch my kids' activities, to drive, um, to even to socialize and simple things like running errands. Now, this you were um, submitted for this trial, this uh, Tepeza trial, and um, what were your initial thoughts? Uh, well, initially, I... I could not find a specialist in my area, which is Omaha, Nebraska, mm-hmm. and I couldn't. I didn't have very many treatment options. There's just nothing out there that was um, that could help my the symptoms I was having. And I happened to join a Facebook group, and they were talking about Dr. Douglas. And I got to looking in, researching Dr. Douglas and what he does a little bit, and I learned about the trial. Mm-hmm. So I. Um, made some phone calls and I spoke to Dr. Douglas and it sounded promising. And for the first time, I felt hope that there was something that could help the double vision that I was suffering from by this time. And I was even having trouble, you know, wondering if I could continue working. So doctor, how is the, uh, how is the drug administered and, um, you know, what, um, how often is it, is it supposed to be used? Yeah. So the drug is administered intravenous. So you have to get an IV. Uh, It's administered over 60 or 90 minutes, depending upon which treatment. And most people tolerate the treatment really well. For example, many of our patients flew in or would drive in, um, get the treatment and go home immediately after. And you have to get the treatment every three weeks for a to- for eight treatments so for a total of about 24 weeks it's a commitment but then the treatment stops you know and so it's not a lifelong therapy it's for this period of time uh you know giving it during those every 3 week periods mm-hmm. so um Wendy let's talk about your your quality of life now um and how are you at the end point of the treatments and are um reaping the benefits or are you still uh, actively in uh, the treatment phase? No, I'm definitely reaping the benefits. I finished, well, I was finished with my treatments by December of 2018. And I I was, I can remember that date specifically because my stepson got married in December of 2018 and going into that, I was just so nervous about Mm -hmm. socializing with people at the wedding because I was so self-conscious about how I looked. And by the time my stepson got married, I was, I was able to enjoy the wedding and I wasn't self-conscious about my eyes and worried that my vision wouldn't Mm -hmm. hold to watch him, watch him get married. So today, today I'm, I'm enjoying my life again. I I drive at night again. Now I'm able to watch my kids' activities. I'm able to volunteer at them. I'm more productive at work. Um, I'm just, I'm very thankful that I was able to get this drug and be a part of the study. Dr. Douglas, uh, let's give our listeners a website where we can get some more information about uh, uh, Tepeza and um, about TED in general. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I think if, you know, the listeners certainly can uh, type in Tepeza uh, into, you know, for a search, and that can certainly yield a variety of information, especially from Horizon Therapeutics. There's been some great educational videos that and educational material that I think that they could uh, provide. They're certainly welcome to my website, which we publish a lot um, and try to do some educational videos too, which is RaymondDouglasMD.com. But Tepeza uh, really has quite a lot of uh, educational. Great, great. And um, I I thank you both uh, for joining us here on Health Professional Radio this morning, Dr. Uh, Raymond Douglas and Wendy. It's been a pleasure speaking with both of you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Raymond Douglas and Wendy. 
Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.